It's Bemidji's largest event. The Bemidji JC's Water Carnival will turn 74 tomorrow. Our Josh Peterson shows us how preparations are underway to continue old traditions and start some new ones. It's the calm before the storm. Carnival workers, food vendors, and JC's alike have been busy preparing for the 74th annual Water Carnival which is Bemidji's premier six-day 4th of July celebration. Well, this week, starting Monday, we had the ride start to roll in. Um, the tent was already up last week, but just kind of putting the final touches, moving in tables, moving in chairs, getting everybody in their place. The water carnival is more than just rides and games. It's also about tradition and adding new events with the hopes of making them new traditions as well. We've, we've done a lot of expanding as far as um, our entertainment I itself. Um, the stage is new and improved. Um, we've got a couple different, just different things here and there. While new events range from Hockey Day Minnesota activities to a lumberjack show, one of the new events is held close to the heart for the Water Carnival co-chairmen, who both happen to be military veterans. An inaugural Military Veterans March will be held from Paul Bunyan Park to the Lake Bemidji South Shore between the two carnival locations. The march will be used to raise funds and awareness about veterans and their ongoing needs. It's also fitting that it will be held on the 4th of July. Looking at the Warrior March and what we can do, it's really about bringing awareness to um, what our needs are. It's really about you know, the suicide awareness. For an event that's based on giving back to the community, the Water Carnival is ready to expand the giving. We need to take and keep track of what's going on and be in tune to the veterans in our area and really just get them, get them going. With everything set to kick off Friday at 5, the festivities will launch a six-day celebration for the entire community to enjoy. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For more information on the Warrior March and a complete schedule of all the activities and entertainment, we posted a link on our website, lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.